Hello. This is going to be another beta world update. Um, I've been titling every video in VOD uh, progression on Minecraft beta, but this is a completely different video. Um, it's a world tour, uh, if you will. So here we go. So um, here we are. Uh, this is my world. Uh, I do have the autumn texture pack on, and I did uh, add on to the texture pack with the old cobble, just because I thought it was a nice touch, and I like the old cobble. Uh, but yeah, this is where it started. Um, this was the first build. Uh, this used to be all trees. And, uh, nothing much has really changed. Same kind of courtyard, uh, work area, garden well, that kind of thing. Uh, I have a dog, which is my bedroom. I don't come down here too often anymore. Uh, just because I have beds in other, uh, places now. <clears throat> um, second build. Uh, this is the main entrance. And then this is the secondary entrance, which we'll be going through. Chandelier. I like it. Very spiffy. <laughs> and, uh, I call it the Mead Hall, because that's what it is. It's... Essentially, where everybody has dinner. And, you know, nothing's changed up here. Just storage. Uh, I did add something to this, though. Uh, it was a basement kind of uh, lounge area. Which I think is nice. Uh, for, you know, playing board games or, you know, playing on one of the arcade machines. Uh, what I like, you have to kind of give things imagination. Uh, I kind of see it as, uh, uh, how I interpret it. Uh, anybody else could just look at it and be like, oh, that's just Minecraft build. But it has a meaning. Uh, you come out, and, uh, this is the graveyard. Uh, by the way, this is the town, uh, or county of... Dreyfus, I've called it that, uh, I looked at my Jaws poster and saw the name Dreyfus, so I was like, why not, <clears throat> anyway, this is the court, or the, the graveyard, um, and you will notice that one of these is stone, will not say why, <laughs> uh, give me some mystery lore, and, uh, another entrance, of course, Mario, um, we'll come over here to the castle, I suppose. Uh, so yeah, uh, I guess we'll do, we'll go up this walkway. Just cause it's nice. I like it. This is Castle O'Dreyfus. <laughs> I like it. <clears throat> It didn't take, take too much time to build. I didn't really change it too much. The only thing I've changed uh, was I did add a basement quarters. Which I think is quite nice. I haven't really... I just added it today, so... it's There's not much, but it looks nice. And uh, the waterfall comes down. And if you really want to, you can slowly trottle up the waterfall and out of the fountain. But there's a ladder here. And then, uh, up here, have the two flags. One here, one here. Opposite colors. Uh, you can barely tell. So, the red is in place of the yellow on this side. And then, uh, kind of have a nice view of the courtyard again. Um, yeah. Uh, it gives great views. I like it. Tree tower. Then you come down here, little crafting area, or whatnot, you know. Very nice. Um, then you, down this ladder, uh, have the garden. 
of course, all of my crops are embedded with the fence under them, so you can't trample them. And when I mean every, all of my crops, I mean literally all of them. Uh, even this wheat field out here, that's how I made it. Uh, all of this has fence under it. You can hear it. If, uh, if I'm quiet, you can kind of, you might be able to hear me walking on wood. That's because there is fences under here. Um, some, some logs, some logs for safekeeping. Ooh, I need to get this sheep. Anyway, um, little bench just to kind of enjoy the view. Nice little, you know, and this is a new addition. Um, this is the street. I don't really have a name for it, but I like it. So, uh, yeah, this is it. Uh, Zen Pond, kind of inspired by Monster uh, in his uh, Castle Von Spawn build, uh, where he had the uh, Zen Pond kind of in the central area of the little, or the, of the Zen Garden, or what he calls it. I don't remember. Um, then you have this. It's a nice little area, little dining area, food, storage. And uh, you come up here, very nice lounge area. You can grab a book, you can sit and read, uh, you can take a nap if you want to. Sit up here. It's nice. It's nice, I like it a lot. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite nooks uh, of the houses so far. Looks like it's going to be night soon, so. Uh, this is the gr little greenhouse that I have for this... Uh, house belongs to that house and then uh the end of the street you have this fountain that's which you can sit at lava pyramid that took forever um i probably spent a good 45 minutes dying just trying to get it to look right because it wouldn't pour the right way uh but yeah um that's that come over here this is this house I really like how this came out. I really like how these, how both of these houses came out, actually. Uh, they're quite nice. Come in here. Crafting. Sit if you want to. And this is like a more, like, four-player board game area. So, like, playing Dungeons and Dragons or something, you can. Uh, it's really... <laughs> it's very, very imaginative, but I like that aspect a lot. Um... Yeah, it's just kind of like supposed to be a nice little chill area, lounge area. I really like it. It's uh, very enjoyable to me. I didn't spend too much time building it. I just kind of built it with what I had. But I really do like how it came out. It came out pretty great. I'm going to go ahead and sleep just so I can continue on with the... What? Cave noise. Got to delete the world. Uh, okay. So if we continue on, um, there's this place, and this is very new, and it took a lot of work because a lot of this was a canal uh, that I was digging for just materials, so there was just a lot of empty ground here that I've uh, then filled up uh, with dirt and whatnot. And uh, yeah, it came out pretty nice. Uh, back entrance to the castle, obviously. I like it. Very convenient. Uh, it doesn't look so empty right here. Uh, but this is new. So the story behind this is I was lava casting, or I was trying to lava cast a tower, and on stream it took like maybe an hour or in like 30 to just get it to pour right. And I poured it very wrong like twice and had to mine it down all the way uh, two times. But I finally figured out how to lava pour correctly uh and it came out quite nice uh, it's just supposed to be a watchtower um to kind of overlook the, the land uh and i'll show you guys uh but i like how it came out it's very rustic kind of hamlet era uh sort of look i really like it <clears throat> come up here 
And then you kind of have this little area. Some stuff. And then I really like this where it just kind of, it goes into, uh, you know, void. Kind of cool. I like, I think it's kind of cool. But yeah, so this is the watchtower. You can kind of overlook the, the far land, if you would, uh, if you will. That over there is spawn, world spawn. I haven't really done anything. I would like to do something better than just a little, you know, three by three square with glass but for now it's okay um excuse me but yeah i like it uh, it's very nice uh it didn't take that long to kind of add on to it but i do like how it turned out I did find myself porting the worlds back and forth on like my laptop uh, just so I could get things done in a more timely manner because I found myself being on my laptop watching movies uh, I had free time but I just didn't have that urge to get on my computer and play alright so uh, this is the church it doesn't look like a church but there is a cross here so that would tell you and time tells you that it is the Dreyfus church So you come in, and uh, seats, both sides, and uh, you kind of just speak the gospel. Very nice. I like it. I like how small it is. Uh, it's just a nice vibe, I think. Very uh, kind of miscellaneous. Um, I did build it with what I had. Uh, on hand like I just I found clay and really needed to find a use for these bricks and I don't think I executed them as well as I could have but they look good enough I think so but yeah that's the church I really like it um didn't take too long I think maybe it took like an hour to build maybe 45 minutes or so um yeah and then you come down here and uh have this I added this just so I could access the nether portal a little easier. Uh, but yeah, there's nothing much in here. It's just, uh, you know, the nether. Very boring in this version. Um, and of course the dock. And uh, nothing really changed in this tower, but I'll go ahead and show you for those who haven't seen it. Uh, but it's supposed to just be like a mining, like a miner's pit stop uh, for whoever wants to, you know, stay the night here. And, uh, you know, it has a nice view, though, if you get up here. I really like it. Uh, it's quite nice. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this little area. Um... I suppose I'll go ahead and show you guys the, uh, the little beach area. I like it. This is one of the first things I built. Uh, in addition to this little courtyard thing. I used beds for the umbrella just because I thought it was kind of clever. But yeah, it's nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, the mining site... Not too much has changed, but I didn't want it to make it, uh, or I didn't want it to be too ugly, so I just kind of added that, and, you know, but a cobble generator, which I don't tend to use anymore, just because digging is faster, uh, but that's just a mining hole, it's nothing special. Uh, but yeah, that's, uh, pretty much it for this area. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the uh, other part that I'm working on right now. Uh, so this was the railroad, and this took forever. Um, I do like how it came out. Uh, I wish I could have been a little more stylistically amusing with it, but it gets the job done, and I like it. It's, it's just good enough. So, yeah. I'll go ahead and show you uh, where it goes. Uh, I really do like how these lanterns came out with the fire. I do like it a lot. 
But yeah, this is the train station. And, uh, the F1. Kind of get a nice view for when, uh, you start going over here. But yeah, I, I love this little area. This is just great. Uh, I think it's awesome. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, creeper face. Nice. You can kind of see where I dug. Oh. Uh, Mario up close. Yeah, I just like that little view. It's very nice. Very nice indeed. I think uh, in the future I'm going to cast over what that lava pyramid is and turn it into some sort of library maze or library-esque kind of build. I'm not too sure, but who knows? I might just leave it as is just for coolness status if you, if you can call it that. Um... But yeah. <clears throat> I do like this railroad uh, ride, though, just because of the scenery. Like, it's very nice looking. Like, just looking into the forest. It's just a very pleasing feeling to kind of gaze upon the terrain generation. I really like the terrain generation, these older versions. They're very hilly and just... Very, it, it, it's inspiring to me, I think. Uh, when you think about it, it's really not that far away. Like, if I was able to turn up my render distance, like, maybe one or three, one or two more chunks, like, you'd probably be able to see my entire uh, little thing over there. But, you know. But, yeah, you get over here. And um, it gets to the train station. And... This is just like a little cozy pit stop. Um, if you want to, you can, you know, rest up. And no monsters can get you because two blocks high and there's a door. So, yeah. And there's plenty of lighting. But I, um, I do plan to do stuff here. It's just that there's a big cave that I need to fill in. Uh, but I do want to build either a small village or a potentially a castle here and I think it would be pretty cool to have um a lot of this ice though I really do want to build an ice cast build with like a maybe a statue or something uh kind of like how uh one of the Yalko's friends did on his server uh I thought that was really cool so I think I might do something like that but it could take a lot of time because casting or pistoning ice is very very tedious uh so I might not get around to that uh, very soon, but who knows? Who knows? And uh, that's pretty much it for now. Um, yeah, I just wanted to give you guys like an in-depth update. Um, I would have posted it on Golden Age Minecraft uh, with screenshots, but uh, it just doesn't satisfy me. Uh, not showing all of the little nooks and crannies, and I just don't want to put up 98 screenshots of, you know, all the different cool angles of my world, so. Yeah. Uh, that's really it. Um, I hope somebody uh, finds enjoyment or pleasure out of this. It's uh, It's only been about a week or you know, eight or nine days that I've had this world and been actively playing it. Um, yeah, no, I really like it. It's coming out great so far. Um, definitely so much more that I'm going to add to it. Just, uh, But it's to a point to where I can kind of walk around and enjoy the scenery and what's there. So I figured I'd show you guys. But, uh, yeah, that really concludes it.